Uh, today I'd like to talk about um, commercial ground baits because I've been asked quite a few questions about that. Um, I think the easiest way of doing it is just go through the Clark Master range because that is more or less specifically for commercial fishing. Um, starting with like this time of year, uh, you've probably heard me say this before, but uh, expander protein. It's one of the best ones I've used for this time of year, especially when the, the breeding season started and the spawning and whatever. When they finish, they need to replace some proteins. So obviously, protein fits the bill quite well. Um, it has actually got blood meal in it. Another reason why I like using it a lot. Um, yeah, you can catch literally anything on that. Uh, big bream, tench, carp, even perch. So, yeah. Well, sometimes you can actually catch some big roach on it as well, depending on what mood they're in. Um, as an additive to that, I think the best one I've found so far is shellfish. It really is quite potent, so you have to be a bit careful with that one. Um, yeah, that's that one cover. Well, you, you can change it if you want. You can put tiger nut in it, or another favourite of mine is the meat one great stuff um, the second one um, it's more or less for bream I think I've caught more bream on this than I have carp I've, I've had one or two tents on it as well the expander caramel can't really go wrong on that one it's nice and sweet <coughs> fish love that one and then obviously when using that one go for a, like a sweeter kind of additive if you want to put anything else to it you don't really need to because it is quite sweet anyway. Uh, the next one is kind of self-explanatory. Expander strawberry. Um, yeah, that is more or less just carp and tench. I haven't caught that many bream on that one, but if you're fishing like on a snake lake, which I normally do on our match lakes, um, that one seems to pull in the fish a bit quicker especially fishing on the fire bank using like um, sweet flavoured dumbbells that one works pretty well with that you, you don't really need to put any more additives in that because it is very sweet um, the next one fish nail uh, I normally use that when I'm mixing other mixes to it uh, it used to be green, now it's brown. I don't think it makes one slightest bit of difference whatsoever what colour it is. Uh, the drawing power in that ground bait is excellent without any different colours to it. Um, there seems to be a helicopter going over. <clears throat> yeah, with that one you, you don't really need to do much to it. Um, you can add one of the boosters if you really, really need to. But I don't need necessarily bother with that unless I want it a bit more um, tangy then it'd rather be shellfish or meat uh, the next one is a little tip for uh, when you're margin fishing use this garlic it stinks but it draws the fish in very quickly and it keeps them there as well um, I wouldn't advise using any other additives to that because it is quite strong as it is on its own um, no you don't really need anything with that just put that in you can have a like, dump it in in big pots or with a little toss pot it's up to you I found it but well, it doesn't really matter which way you use it it works um, going on to another sweet mix is the super crush sweet I like using this one quite a lot on um, on bigger waters uh, especially when I'm boily fishing or dumbbell fishing whatever the sweet the sweet obviously sweet flavor um, seems to attract the fish quite quick I don't normally well sometimes I will mix it but I'll probably put something else in it with but sweet fish meal um, but I try and try and tend to keep that sweet the only thing I would add to that is either I don't know something like banana or pineapple coconut or another one of the new ones uh, sweet and jerry very very sweet um, uh, apart from that 
The only thing I might put in there is a little bit of a mandel, which is basically almond. You don't really need much of this stuff because it's concentrated. It's like a really fine powder. But even now I can smell it, it's all really sweet. I think you only need like a, a teaspoon of that. Or well, sometimes I'll put some betaine in it. Or oh, there's another one that I use quite a lot. Super sweet. Well, translated super sweet. It's really good if you're using like sweet boiler flavours or sweet dumbbells. Just put a little bit of that in there. Gives it an extra kick. Or oh, another one you can use is the aminos, amino acids. Really good stuff. It's just all things just to give you a bit of an edge really. Uh, the sweet fish meal one that I just had in my hand. I tend to use if I'm more or less autumn time or winter or autumn kind of winter, one of the two. Uh, it is quite a fine mix. I don't know if you can see it through the package there, but it really is quite fine. I know most other companies have theirs black, but we try. Well, we just use it in a, in a brown colour. Once you mix it, it does go a little bit darker. But never had any problems with that at all. Um, the next one, this is my favourite one for bream when I'm fishing in the winter. Uh, expand the big fish. It's very dark in colour. And I've actually lost count how many times I've caught bream on that. Um, when they're not really in the mood. I, I don't add anything else to it. Um, if I'm, unless I'm fishing like a feeder then I'll obviously put brown crumb in it or something just to like, like soften it up a bit. But if I'm, I can use that on the, the method feeder, on the pole, normal cage feeder, you name it you can do it. But you can do that with all these mixes, no problem at all. It's one of the benefits of um, using them really. You can, they're so versatile you can use them for anything. Um, yeah, um, like I said, that, that one's really good for the winter months. But it really is quite fine. Um, so there's no chance of filling the fish up, no problem at all. Um, I think that's it from that. Well, I've got one or two others, but just like Tutti Fruity and one or two other ones. But these are the main ones that I use throughout the year. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions or have any issues trying to get hold of the stuff then just drop a comment below and I'll try and get hold of whoever it is who's responsible for your country and then um, let you know where to get it from. Any other questions just drop a comment and I'll answer as soon as I can. Um, please subscribe and like if you want. Thanks very much and have a nice day. Bye.